We're at Lund and Yule Road, which is the far southwest corner of the county, and it's southwest of the city of Lakeland. And the details that I give you today are not going to be great, but it's going to be sad. There's no winners as a result of this event. But here's what occurred. There was supposed to be a child exchange. The child exchange involves a little boy who's not yet two years of age. And when the child exchange was supposed to take place, we ultimately received first a 911 call from the victim who is now deceased talking about having problems with his child exchange. And then we began to get a series of calls, one being a 911 call from the shooter who said that he just shot the victim at this alleged child exchange. Now, we've only been here a few minutes. There's a lot of details we're working through. We're looking at court orders that are already in place. We're looking at court orders that are in place that have been modified. We do know that our victim, who's deceased, mother was with him and saw her son get fatally shot. We also know that the shooter is apparently the boyfriend of the ex-wife of the victim and obviously the mother of the child. She was not present at the time. So you have the foundation of the information that our homicide detectives are working with right now in order to sort this out. There's no way I can give you details on who's right and who's not right at this very early stage of the investigation. What I can tell you is everyone is cooperating in the investigation and we will be able to sort this out over a period of time. So the little boy was going from the dead person to the shooter or the shooter to the dead person? The little boy was going from his mother's custody with the boyfriend and the mother's residence, or maybe not, I don't know if she lived there or not, but that's, that's where the custody exchange was supposed to take place, at the shooter's residence. The boy's father is the victim, and he was to pick the child up. But obviously, this domestic violence event went terribly bad. And as a result, we have a little fella not yet two years old without his father, who's now deceased. We have a victim who was shot in the presence of his mother and is now deceased. And we don't know what the coupleability is on either side because the shooter is also cooperating with us and also dialed 911. He is with our detectives and is explaining to us what happened from his perspective. So some type of altercation happened between the two men? Some kind of altercation happened. I don't know if it was a physical altercation. I don't know if it was only verbal. But I do know that the victim of the shooting dialed 911 and then the shooter we won't call him a suspect because we don't know if it, he is at this point in the investigation, but the shooter also a few minutes later called 911. We also know a neighbor who heard the gunshots called 911. So at this time, everyone's cooperating. At this time, we are investigating a horribly tragic domestic event. And there's no winners here. We've got a little fella, less than two, that'll never be able to be with his father again. We don't know if his, if his father was the aggressor. We don't know why the shooter shot. All of that's under investigation. 
and we'll report those facts to you as the investigation goes on. So the, the, the boyfriend came with the little boy to drop it off with the little boy's biological dad? The mother came with her son to pick up his son, the little boy. The, the little boy now is with his mother. Don't know yet. Can you tell us the name of the shooter? No, I can't. Yet. We will at the appropriate time. We we are still sorting this out. And was the little boy's mother was she present? She was not present. She was away from the house when the domestic event took place and the ultimate shooting occurred. So, but once again. We're here talking about this in a very short period of time after it happened. We, the only thing we're sure of is there was a horrible shooting and a dead person at a exchange of custody of a little fella less than two years old. Do we know if there's been any, any other altercation between these two men in the past? We'll investigate that to see where and if we've been here before or interacted with these folks, but I can tell you the court order says that the victim of the shooting has to have someone with him when the custody exchange occurs, which tells you there's a contentious history. Because when you're having to bring someone with you, a neutral party or a referee or someone, it usually means that the divorce and our custody exchanges have been contentious. That's a subjective thought on my part based upon the history, but what occurred here today, who was right and who was wrong, we don't know yet. Okay, thank you very much.